Wisconsin I is at the Milwaukee Public Library to talk to Milwaukee Alderman Michael Murphy about a study that he did. That study concluded there were 888 heroin or opiate deaths in Milwaukee County between 2012 and 2015. Uh, more people are dying through opiate and heroin deaths than automobile accidents, not only on a national level, but certainly on a local level, more than homicides, um, and it touches so many lives in so many different ways. I think a lot of perception is, um, and certainly it should be, looking at young people, um, but the reality is the average person dying in Milwaukee County is a 43-year-old white male or white female. I mean, there's certainly the law enforcement introduction of stopping the narcotics from getting into our communities, but we haven't had as much success as we'd like. It's two, it, it's really treatment, um, finding options. President Obama um, really has been pushing hard to provide allocation of resources to allow for more treatment throughout the country. Unfortunately, Congress, as usual, has not taken that up uh, um, and authorizing that. Uh, but we're going to do the best we can here locally, and, it, and, and certainly education. So we're one of four cities in the country under the DEA's um, campaign uh, 360 strategy, and we're aggressively reaching out to the media outlets and others and, and holding meetings and trying to communicate to the public the importance of keeping these uh, um, you know, oxycodone and other opiates out of the um, stream. Uh, I've said this at every meeting I've ever held, is you know, in the early 80s when the whole issue of crack epidemic, there was one focus, lock everybody up. Uh, there wasn't any discussion about treatment. Right. You know, there is a racial context, so I think in this day and age, I think that is the only silver lining. People realize this is a public health epidemic and not just a law enforcement issue. Everyone in this country has to recognize that what we're facing is a health epidemic. And you know, if this was Zika virus, Zika virus, and we were having this type of deaths, it'd be a whole different discussion. For whatever reasons, this is looked at as a moral failing from people who being an addict.